Yep, we're building a house. <laughs> All right. I kind of feel like Trent Palmer right now, talking about building houses, flying airplanes. A uh, little different, we don't have an airstrip on ours. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't afford the amount of land that we need for an airstrip. Um, but I'm close enough, I'm only like seven minute drive to the airport. Um, so you can see here we got two-story house pretty big uh, it's 2100 square feet um, I installed the roof myself that's uh, a steel roof and the structure itself was done as a prefab kit uh, it's a custom built house but it was built in a factory all the walls were crane in place in a couple days and this is gonna be a net zero house um, so we're gonna have a lot of solar about 13 to 15 kilowatts of solar and it's heated with an air source heat pump uh, Mitsubishi model which is good to down to minus 35 so a pretty cool system and there's our air compressor for the air source heat pump been working on the back with some scaffold to seal it all up and do the soffit Uh, we got some pretty big windows here, south facing, so we get a lot of passive uh, heat as well. About 35% of our heat in the summer, if it's sunny, is going to come from the sun. Pretty much every day, either if I have a flight, I go flying and then come here and work on the house. It's been challenging and busy, especially with two little boys. One's one year old and one's now three years old. So they're busy <laughs> and it's... It's definitely challenging building a house with little kids. So the interior is a lot more finished than the exterior right now just because it is winter and we want to get the interior done. We moved in here in hopefully about a month. Um, we'll be in here and it'll be livable. Um, we got oak hardwood floors. And my wife and I have been installing the IKEA kitchen Work in progress, but we're almost there. Got a big island here. Got a wood fireplace. So there's no gas hookup in this house. Um, we just didn't want to pay gas fees every month, delivery fees, and yeah, we want to be net zero, which means no gas. So got a nice loft up there. Pretty nice view and a big backyard. So I have we'll have enough space to paramotor back here, but. Um, sadly not enough room to uh, land a plane unless I get permission to land in this field back here by the farmer, which I might do. Big master bath or main bathroom up here. Uh, this is our master, we got a vaulted ceiling. Kids bedroom is going to be here. 
And then laundry and another spare bedroom. The office, starting to move in. Got an Ikea pack system already here and some planes up there. Today I'll be working on this bathroom a little bit. We want to get one bathroom done before we move in. So I did some tiling yesterday. Got to do more tiling today. Uh, we got our Nest thermostat here. Um, that's connected to our air source heat pump and our HRV. This is the source of our heat. This is a winterized version of an air source heat pump. It works down to minus 35, which is pretty incredible. And then it has a built-in backup system. Um, and we did have a couple days with this on that it was minus 35 and the backup didn't kick in. And actually the, the furnace itself hardly ran all day because it was a sunny day and we had lots of heat from those big south windows. So pretty cool system there. We also have an air source water heater. So it takes the ambient air in this room and then converts that into energy to heat the water. It just offsets the amount of electricity used. Hot water recovery coil on the drain line. So it'll take that heat. And it was interesting actually, I found out why they do it vertically instead of horizontally. I was wondering why wouldn't they do it horizontally to get the heat out of the pipe? But actually when the water falls down this pipe, the water clings to the outside of the pipe and you get the most heat transfer with a vertical pipe instead of a horizontal, whereas you only get just the base layer of the water heat um, coming out of it. So this way we get the most uh, energy out of the uh, hot water and recuperate that heat back into the into the heating tank there. So 100 amp panel we have this is a sub panel we have a 200 amp panel in the garage and I'll just talk about our insulation of the house a little bit. We got two inches of closed cell spray foam in the walls with four, uh, R14 bat as well and then we have R60 in the attic. So it's extremely well insulated and then two inches of rigid on the exterior that's below grade and above grade so everything is covered in two inches we got four inches of uh, insulation below the um the basement slab um so yeah we're going all out with insulation just to try and get as energy efficient as we can and then we did get an energy model done on this house and we need about a 13 to 15 kilowatt solar system to be net zero. So yeah, that's been uh, what's been keeping us busy lately and hopefully I can make some more videos for you guys soon. Mm -hmm.